here we are again, the segment of the show that best illustrates what makes an app interesting. First on the list for today is iNap at Work for the iOS. And you guessed it, it lets you nap at work while it emits working sounds. No one will likely notice you sprawled out on the floor or under your desk. Certainly not while a tiny phone emits simulated work sounds. Your employer will likely hear you working away and that will be enough for them. Sleep on, good luck Costanza. Next up, Hard Awakening, which may sound very much like a Vin Diesel film title, but it's not. It's actually an alarm that uses terrifying sounds to bring you out of sleep. <laughs> However, if that's not enough for you, you can record your own alarming sounds to wake you up. You can also import sounds and songs from your iTunes collection, perhaps something by William Shatner or Bruce Willis. That's enough to scare you off sleep for quite some time. It has been said that the pen is mightier than the sword, but is the app mightier than the pen? Are we at the point where these devices can replace good old pen and paper? We want to share two apps with you today that may make you reconsider putting pen to paper, in a literal sense anyway. First off, we have Pen Ultimate for the iPad. And whether you're a student in constant need of note-taking materials or a high-powered executive also taking notes but of a different kind, Pen Ultimate is our app of choice. As the name would indicate, the Pen Ultimate app is aiming to replace the physical pen and paper, and it does a pretty good job of it too. When you first open the app, there's an excellent tutorial that starts you off to make sure you get the most out of it. From there, you can scribble away. The app offers three paper styles for you to choose from, graph, lined, and plain. And there are options for pen thickness and colors as well. Now that you know what you're working with, how does it actually work? Using your finger as the pen, you make your notes on the screen and now you're writing. When you're finished, you can save your handiwork and export as a PDF. But before you even get there, you can fix your mistakes, reorder your pages, duplicate pages, and do all the things you'd expect in a document editor. There's also a wrist protector to make sure you don't smudge all over the place when you lay your arm down as you write. This is a godsend for all the lefties out there. Now all of that sounds great, but it's important to note that there's no text recognition feature here, so your notes will remain a handwritten note. This is where WritePad comes in. Similar to Pen Ultimate, WritePad is here to eliminate the need for pen and paper. But the main difference is the recognition software that converts the handwriting to text. With a little work, the notes you've written can become a document to hand in at school or a memo at the office. You can write, cut, paste, and save just like the previous app, the WritePad app even has a built-in translator. All in all, both apps accomplish a similar series of tasks, but the end product is radically different. So if you're just making notes for yourself, the cheaper Pen Ultimate is just fine, but if this is something you intend to do work on for school or the office, WritePad offers a more professional finish. For the amateur or professional web designer, we've got an app that can make that job a lot easier. That plus a whole lot more after this break, we're back in a moment. Welcome back. Giving kids a way to express their artistic side is an important part of growing up. And the fact that you can give them that and not have a mess to clean up after they have artistically expressed themselves is even better. Here are our hot five children's art apps. Let's begin with a look at Preschool Connect the Dots. Aimed at kids between the ages of two to six, this app does exactly what its name claims. The game includes fun sound effects and various categories like transportation, musical instruments, and animals to name a few. Next up, we have Shape Builder, a virtual puzzle game. Drag the pieces into the silhouette to assemble the puzzle and reveal a picture. The game lets kids work on their cognitive thinking and motor skills, not to mention just plain puzzle solving abilities. When finally assembled, the puzzle will speak to you. No deep conversations or anything, but it will speak to you. Moving on, we come to Highlights Hidden Pictures. Inside the fun illustrations are a series of hidden objects, which you have to find. Once you have found each object, the picture is complete. The game can be made more challenging with the clues feature or easier with the hints feature. And as you may have guessed, the more puzzles tab reveals, well, more puzzles. Next up, we have Drawing Pad, a drawing app for all ages. You're presented a series of tools as well as stickers, backgrounds, and more. 
cheaper and cleaner, I might add, than a box of crayons. Drawing Pad is an art studio that travels with you wherever you go. And finally, we come to 123 Color HD Talking Coloring Book. The Talking Coloring Book teaches numbers, letters, shapes, and oddly enough, colors in multiple languages, including English, French, Spanish, and more. This talking book sure seems to have a lot to say. Windows Phone 7 features a calendar application that'll streamline how you schedule your life. To launch the calendar app, you'll need to begin on your start screen. In the upper right hand corner, you'll find an icon shaped like a rightwards facing arrow. Select it and then tap the tab entitled Calendar. The calendar application will automatically begin in day view, allowing you to see a scrollable list of today's events displayed in an hourly format. Slide the title bar right to left and you'll switch to the agenda view. Now you can view a breakdown of all your scheduled events displayed in a daily format. To view an entire month on screen, tap the calendar icon furthest right. It's located on the button bar at the bottom of the screen. Slide your finger up or down to scroll through the different months. To view a specific day, tap its date and you'll switch back to day view. The easiest way to create an appointment is to first browse to the date of your event. Once you're in day view, tap the time you like the appointment to begin. This will bring you to the new appointment screen. Here, you can enter the event's subject, location, and duration. To reveal additional fields, scroll down and tap the More Details tab. Here, you can set a reminder to alert you about the event prior to its scheduled start. Simply tap the Reminder tab and enter a time interval. Next, tap the Occurs field and choose the frequency you'd like this reminder to occur. To remove an appointment, tap the event while you're in the day view. Next, locate the trash can icon. It's on the right side of the button bar, located at the bottom of the screen. What you want to do is tap it and a confirmation window will open. Select the Cancel tab to preserve the appointment or Delete tab to erase it. Now that you've familiarized yourself with your new calendar app, scheduling will never be a headache again. Art is more than painting, drawing, or photos, and design is just as important. There are a lot of incredible designs on the web that can come from having to navigate through screens of code and some clunky desktop app. Well, that's all in the past now, is you can make your own beautiful site right on your iPad. Whether you're a professional web guru or just want to kick around some ideas and be creative, then check out Sketchypad. This app gives you the power to create websites to show to your clients or to your friends. Sketchypad also allows you to create an iPhone and iPad app interface mockup. So basically, it's an app that can help you make apps. Sketchypad removes the need to work out your idea on paper first by giving you access to a variety of stencils that can help you assemble mock-up websites. Besides, paper is sold five years ago. You can design all aspects of the website from text to graphics to buttons. You can easily import photos from your album to get a feel for the image layout. Start off with a blank screen and from there, fill it in with virtually anything you have in mind. Choose different stencils and different elements like buttons, media, and text to help you create your website or app. Touch, drag, resize, and adjust in that wonderful way only a tablet can provide. As you get further along, the detail work will begin, involving fonts, color, and alignment. Experiment and mess around with the design. If the idea of messing around scares you, you can lock what you like and keep changing what you don't until you're happy. This app is an incredible tool for web designers of any level, although it would be nice if you could rotate your elements in your design. The one issue I have is how easy it is to move stuff around before you lock it in place. You can knock items around by accident as you attempt to zoom in and out. Sometimes it can look like bumper cars while you're trying to be artistic, but I guess that's why they added an undo feature to counter those accidental moves. You know, the more mobile we become, the more people are going to start viewing sites on their smartphones and tablets rather than their PCs. So why not make and evaluate your web designs in the same way? There's something about making a website on a tablet that really frees the artist within. There's no clumsy mouse dragging, and you can kick back on the couch while you create. Now isn't that appealing? 
We're almost out of time, but we've got one last thing to look at before we go. Well, did you know that you can get deals simply by going to Facebook and to the places within the Facebook app and selecting check in? Well, one of the first partners within Canada to support these Facebook deals was TELUS. TELUS often has deals. Be sure to check in whenever you're in a TELUS store to see what deals might be available. You can even share those deals with friends so that everyone can get in on the action. Well, there are even ways you can raise money for charity all just by checking in. That's my favorite. Of course. Well, <laughs> I see we have come to an end of the Visual Apps episode. That really should have been my line. Thanks for joining us here on App TV. <laughs> what the heck? See you next time. App TV is brought to you by TELUS.